Last time we left off here on YouTube, we were sharing our overnight ferry from Mexico's Baja Peninsula over to the mainland. Oh, it's good to see land. Oh, and if you're new around here, we're Chris and Sarah, a husband and wife duo who, with our dog Kramer, are currently driving from the USA all the way to the end of Argentina. We've been in Mexico for about seven weeks now, and we're loving every second of exploring this beautiful country. The ferry dropped us off in the coastal city of Mazalan, which is where we're picking up today. We arrived in Mazatlan with very few expectations. We were told the seafood here was the best in the country and that the historic center was beautiful, but that was about all that we knew. And if we're totally being honest, our first two days here were less than ideal. We ended up in a bad campground with zero shade, no breeze, and 45 minutes from town. We knew that we needed to give this city a better chance, so we ditched the beachfront spot that had such raving reviews on iOverlander and wandered our way back to the city to see what drew thousands of tourists to this destination every year. If you're not familiar with the city of Mazalan, it's located on the Pacific coast of Mexico's mainland. The climate here is hot and more humid than the Baja Peninsula, so we have to adjust to the stickiness that comes with 80 to 90 percent humidity. Good morning from Mazatlan. Today we are hiking up this cliff, rock, mountain, I'm not really sure. It's apparently the only hike in town and at the top there's a lighthouse and it's supposed to have a really beautiful view of the city. So we came here as soon as it opened at 6 a.m. It's pretty busy. Oh. Apparently it's one of the tallest wow. lighthouses only because it sits really high on this mountain. So the lighthouse itself isn't very tall, but where it is, it's, it's tall. It's tall. All right. Go. One of the first things that we noticed getting off of the ferry is the humidity. So this is not just sweating because it's a very steep hike. Feels like home in Tennessee. Just over half a mile, but <sighs> you go like 750 meters and you get to 750 meters up the hill, it turns to steps. And there's 360 steps. Oh gosh. Yeah. We just passed step 150. I'm so sweaty. You can see sweat through my black shirt. That's why I wear black, so you can't see sweat and it not work today. I think we're like the only foreign tourists here right now. A lot of people doing their morning workouts. I would be here a lot too if I lived here, just to go up and down. It's just Good workout. It's all locals, from what I can tell, and they're all getting their workout in, come early. They know what to do, just follow the locals. They know to come here before it gets a thousand degrees. <laughs> How humid do you think it is? It's not hot. It's 68 degrees. Humidity is 82%. It's pretty humid. Look at me. I'm a monster. I'm a monster! So when you finish, golly, I am so sweaty. This, I feel good, but I am just like... I feel like I just swam. Ugh. So when you get finished with your sweat drenching walk up the hill, it's a beautiful overlook up here. And the lighthouse, it's pretty small. You know, I forgot about the lighthouse. I was looking at the view. <laughs> the lighthouse is so small, but remember, it is the tallest lighthouse. Natural lighthouse. Because it sits on a mountain. We were told by some friends Shout out to Connor and Alex. Hello. <laughs> to go to a place called Looney Beans, and it's a coffee shop, and they roast their own beans right here in town. It's right on the water. But when I was looking at it, I saw something that sounded even better than coffee. Maybe not better than coffee, but just as good as coffee. And that is a chili quiles burrito. All right, cut here we gotta go. <laughs> Today, my heart is complete. I have a chilaquiles. I have a burrito stuffed with chilaquiles. So if you look in here, and it's smothered in this like pot sauce, but inside, when you cut the burrito open, the little chilaquiles is inside there. This thing is massive. It is a massive burrito. Heck yeah. That's so good. So you have the hot sauce and you have that happening, but then inside it's the crunchy, the crunchiness of the chips. That it's just a, it's a really cool concoction that they have. What are you doing? Delicious. Mexico has outdone itself yet again. So we did one savory, one sweet. I had a feeling that burrito would be so big we didn't want two savory things. So you got the chili burrito, 
and then I saw somebody else nearby order a cinnamon roll. I said, I should probably split one of those. So we got a cinnamon roll and chili killies. We, we earned this. We're gonna run again later, right? Once we had a chance to explore the streets, try the food, and talk to some of the locals, we better understood why this city is a destination for many. Now, while most people visit for the beaches, we personally fell in love with the flower-lined cobblestone streets lined with beautiful, colorful homes. The very first thing that we noticed about Mazalan was just how green it is. Green trees, green grass, green plants, green everywhere. Having spent the better part of the last three months hobbing around the deserts in the USA and Baja, come to find even the shade of a cactus to be a cool and refreshing sight. We hadn't realized how much we had missed lush green plants until we found ourselves walking along these tree-lined streets through the city of Mazalan. This city is by no means a tropical jungle, but compared to the dry Baja deserts and beaches, the greenery was very welcomed. There are still signs of visitors like ourselves wandering the streets. Most prominently, we noticed these little gas-powered cars that were driving tourists around the city and showing them all the best spots in town. Something about these little cars always made us smile and because they seem to be the perfect way to enjoy the warm beachfront city and take in all the views of the city at the same time. We have stumbled into Little Britain. They have a statue of the Beatles, you know, during Abbey Road and the Yellow Submarines back here and a little Mini Cooper. So, if you're hankering for some, some Europe feel, come to Mazalan. They've got a street called Liverpool. What is it in Arrested Development that they have, like Little Britain? Is that what they call it? Little Britain, that's where I feel like I met. <laughs> Four British eyes only. Don't I look kind of British? Perhaps if you're willing to lose 20 pounds. Do you like my parking job? I feel like I've acclimated to the driving scene in Mexico. It's not a yellow curb. And there were other people here before me. But something about it doesn't seem right. But there's no ticket on the windshield. We were here over an hour. So I'm going to say it was fine. <laughs> it's fine, right? Baby, if it's all the same to you, can we find a place a little less blue? I need a change chance to break away need a coffee house to let me hide my face i've been dreaming for quite some time that you and me would hit the road and leave it all behind and maybe we'll come out on the other side with some friends and a place to call our own some friends and a place to call home Cause honey, you don't know you mean the world to me I'd give anything if I could make you see That the best part of me is the part that's you And I don't wanna know who I am without you I've been dreaming for quite some time That you and me would hit the road and leave it all behind And maybe we'll come out on the other side some friends and a place to call her home. Some friends and a place to call home. And when the sun sets, this place comes alive. So last night we were in the same square. We were told you have to come back between Thursday and Sunday because between Thursday and Sunday, they do a night market. And I think we're here just a little bit on the early side. It's about 6.35 now, but we want to get here while there's still a little bit of light outside. But it's mostly, it's a lot of, there are a lot of tourists here too, but there's a lot of locals too. So they've got a few little vendors setting up, selling 
like crafts and that kind of thing. And then what I like is that all these restaurants that line this main square, when we were here yesterday, there were still cars driving along the perimeter of it, but now they've shut the street off and all the tables have flowed to the outside and it's beautiful outside. It's like a perfect 70 degrees and it's there's live music and it's so pleasant. We were getting kind of hungry and we wanted to sit out somewhere that has one of the nice little patios and we walked around the whole square and there's a shocking number of pizza places on this one square. I counted five or six places that sold pizza. I only counted two Mexican restaurants. Today we are having brunch. It's it's lunch. It's two o'clock. We just haven't eaten until now. <laughs> so it's breakfast for us, but we are at Totem, which is a really pretty little cafe down in the Central Historic area. So like the one lane roads, they're very beautiful old buildings, very colorful, a lot of like hip cafes and uh, historic squares and that kind of thing. So we went for a run this morning along the waterfront, which is beautiful. So similar to what they so similar to what they had in La Paz, you saw that they had that five kilometer uh, pathway along the water. This one's actually 13 miles, so it's very long. We obviously did not do all of that this morning, but we went for a nice run, and then we told ourselves and treat ourselves to a nice lunch today. It's a really beautiful place. We're on the second floor. We have a patio upstairs. So nice, very pleasant. Do not remember what I got. It looks delicious. It's got sourdough toast, and it's got beans and cheese, and it tastes like barbecue chicken on top. Pretty good. Avocado, pico, pickled onions, radish, and of course you top it off with lime. And then we each got Americano. It's hot. What'd you get? I got a combo chilaquiles. The tamale right here is in green sauce and it's got cheese and cream on it. It's a very like sweet, sweet. So you have the like spiciness of the, the rojo verde or the, the rojo chilaquiles right here, the red one. But then you have this sweet green sauce and it's perfect combo. Highly, highly recommend. It looks really good. I wish I had gotten something like that. This is delicious, but yeah, that's a nice little combo letter. Word of advice, if you come to eat with us, follow my directions, not Sarah's. Mine's good. Mine's better. Mazatlan was beautiful and a fun first stop during our tour through mainly Mexico. Up next, we're exploring Mexico's second biggest city, Guadalajara. So. Stay tuned. For behind the scenes and extra content, you can head on over to our Patreon community. Otherwise, be sure to follow on Instagram or like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us. at home.